Cause I can sometimes dream This makes me want to cry. <laughs> Hello and how are you? So, Halsey came out with new music and I'm freaking thrilled about it. Her new album, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, came out just a couple days ago and I spent all day pretty much yesterday listening to it and I'm slightly in love. So I kinda just wanted to go through and just talk about like a couple of my favorite songs and like what I think of it overall. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I need to stop while I'm ahead, honestly. I want to say the deluxe version of the album has 16 songs. I think I've listened to the whole thing twice, and I've listened to individual songs several times because I have a few favorites. Starting off, I want to say I first found Halsey. I want to say saw a video of her on Tumblr singing Control, and I kind of fell in love. And I like downloaded a lot of her music that was out. That was before Badlands came out. But speaking of Badlands. I really love that album. I don't know why, but it's just, it's unique in its own way. I like the way she writes. I like her hooks. I like her music. I like her style. Her lyrics are very quotable, which is nice, because, like, I enjoy doing that. I have every single song on Badlands memorized. Like, blasting drive and, like, driving down the highway is just, like, the best thing ever. And if you've never done that, I recommend it. She still sounds the same but she's trying new stuff, and I'm a fan. She starts out by actually reading the prologue of Romeo and Juliet, which I was not expecting. It was really cool, but it sets the tone for pretty much the whole album. Rolling Stone called it a sprawling science fiction breakup tale. Adult dystopian synth pop realness. <laughs> pretty much sums it up, honestly. This album is a bit of a mouthful, though, I'll give it that. Okay, my favorite songs are Heaven and Hiding, Sorry, Bad at Love, and Don't Play. All, pretty much all the songs in this album I think I'm gonna adore, just like her last one. But so far those four are my very favorite and I'm already like trying to like figure out the words to them and like sing along but I don't know the words so it's just kind of like, hey, you know what I'm talking about. I just feel like she's a really unique storyteller and she definitely does her own thing and I really admire that about her. I like her as a celebrity, I like her as an artist, I like her as a singer, as a songwriter. She's just a really chill person and I just think she's really, really cool and I like her a lot and I'm really, really excited about this album. It seems to be doing really well so far, which I'm very excited about. Sorry makes me want to cry. Oh my god, the lyrics in that song though. It's so beautifully heartbreaking. <laughs> Don't play. I just want to like get in my car, roll down my windows, and just blare that as loud as I possibly can and just kind of scream along with it. I'm just rambling, but I really, really like this album. I'm a big fan of it, and I knew I would be, but still it's always, you know. So I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching, and go listen to Hope and Spout Kingdom if you haven't, because it's really, really cool, and I like it a lot. So, you know, if you don't like it, that's cool too, but I like it. So, I'm gonna go. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I can't not, okay?